Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video we will be taking a look at how you can fix Starfield's graphics looking a bit blurry, textures not looking great and basically just improving the quality. So as you can see I'm in the game at the moment and I'm not sure if it's picking that up on the screen but it looks very blurry and the graphics just isn't that great. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is jump into game. You then need to press escape on your keyboard and you then need to go to settings. You then need to go to display. So we now need to change some of the settings within it, this area here. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the render resolution scale. So as you can see mine is currently on 62%. Now if you slide this all the way up to 100% it is going to of course impact the graphics card slightly. So if the game's FPS does drop too much then you're going to have to lower some of the other settings but you really want to have the render resolution scale to 100%. So if I now go back after applying that, straight away the picture looks a lot more clear. That really has improved the quality. If we go back to the settings again by pressing escape, settings and then display, you can actually turn this off. So I don't actually want to use the render resolution option. So to turn this off, you need to change the upscaling from FSR2 or whatever option you've got on all the way to off. And you can now see that's grayed out. So with that option off, so this is again going to impact your graphics, um, FPS and all that. If I now turn that off and go back to game, it looks even more sharp. But of course the FPS has taken a hit. If I press escape again and go to settings and then go back to display, the next thing that we want to do is go to the bottom here and go to film grain intensity. You need to change this to zero and you then also want to change enable VRS. We want to change this to off as well. And then the next thing that we want to do is ensure upscaling. Like I just said, it's off. So if we now press escape again and go back to the game, straight away it's looking a lot more sharp. However, it's still looking a bit blurry when I'm moving around. And that's because we got blur on. I don't know why games turn on motion blur, but the developers seem to want to implement that feature into games, which uh, personally, I hate the feature. So we're gonna go back to settings again and go to display. We now need to find the option on here. Also, V-Sync, I like to turn that off as well. So if we scroll down, I did, I'm sure I seen the option earlier somewhere. I did, there it is. So motion blur, we need to turn this to off. So if we now go back again, press escape, there we go. You can now see that the quality, the motion blur, everything has just improved. The game no longer looks pixelated and it looks nice and sharp. But if you're still having issues with the game not looking that great, the next thing that we need to do is just completely close down the game. Also, just before we close down the game, ensure you are using a high resolution. So because I'm on borderless full screen, I can't actually change it. But if I turn that to off, I can then change the resolution. So it might be worth turning borderless full screen to off and then change the window size. I would like to also just add while I'm on here, I will be doing at some point this week or next week, some when, <laughs> a video on how you can improve the FPS also in Starfield. So if you're interested in seeing that video, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Also, every subscribe really does help the channel out. So it's great and thank you when you do subscribe. So I'm now going to close down the game. I'm actually just going to do a Alt and F4. There we go. Did that work? Nope, I didn't press F4. Right, so the next thing that we want to do is download a program called Easy Game Utility. Now this is a program that I created. So once you've downloaded it from our website at computersluggage.com and installed it, you will end up with a window that looks like this. We need to scroll all the way to the bottom on the Clean tab and you're then going to want to clean the cache files for your graphics card. So if you've got an AMD, click clean. If you've got an Nvidia graphics card, click clean next to Nvidia or Intel. Now, once you've cleared the cache files using Easy Game Utility, the next thing that we want to do is also update our graphics card driver. 
But before we go ahead and look at that, I just want to quickly add Easy Game Utility. I am on the Pro version, so it's got more features. But you've got a Fix tab where you can fix game issues. You've got a Network tab with loads of options. A Launch tab as well where you can change the priority of games and stuff. It's a really great program. So if you're interested in um, checking it out, and definitely check it out. It's a really good program. If you don't want to, then that's fine. Let's move on to the next step. So the next step, like I said, is ensuring you've got the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you don't know what graphics card you have, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to device manager, and then expanding display adapters. So you can see that I've got an AMD RX 6750 XT. That means I need to go to the AMD website and download the latest driver for my graphics card. Once I've downloaded it, of course, I then need to install the driver. Once it's installed, I can then try Starfield again and see if it helped resolve some of the some <laughs> words are coming out wrong there. Some of those texture blurry graphics issues. If you're not sure how to update your graphics card, then I have I will add some links in the description below where you can check out some guides where I show you how to do that. So now you've updated your graphics card, try the game again. If that hasn't helped, then the next thing that you want to do is ensure you have the latest updates installed for Windows. You can do this by right clicking on the start menu, going to settings, going to update and security, and then just click and check for updates. Basically, the reason why I've added this little method is because Windows actually updates DirectX through Windows updates. So by doing this, you will be updating DirectX, which of course Starfield uses. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video did help you out and you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish videos.